Andy's next gen is coming and it's looking better than ever, but what's looking worse than ever is YouTube Vanced. And you want you want GPUs that are being sold to miners first and then being taken by customs and making it so that you can't sell in the country anymore? Well, we, we can talk about that, I guess. It's a very specific request. Let's get into the hot news, everybody. I'm your Brett host. We're gonna be going over the hottest tech news I can find on the internet while you enjoy your breakfast. And we're gonna start off today's breakfast by talking about the hot news that is AMD's FSR 2.0. There are some details coming out that we're expecting to see FSR 2.0 being debuted at GDC on March 24th. And some of the people who have seen it behind the scenes are saying things like, hey, it's got temporal scaling plus optimized AA, which is actually really good. That's a difference in how they actually do the upscaling from FSR. It makes it kind of similar to DLSS, which this is an argument I've been having on our UFD tech videos. People keep calling me out saying FSR is the same as DLSS. LSS. It's not, but this might be, and I'm excited about that. Additionally, it says it doesn't need AI, which is different than DLSS. Number three, it runs on GPUs from all vendors, which automatically makes it a good one in my book. And then they're also saying that it has impressive performance and image quality, and that AMD is even claiming that it's better than native. So what this will allow you to do is have better looking games running at a faster frame rate than ever before, and it looks like it might be at least demoed at GDC on March 24th. The previous anticipation was that this was going to be launched in coincidence with RDNA 3, which is supposed to come towards the end of this year. That probably still can happen if they're going to announce it at GDC, but then actually roll it out when RDNA 3 comes out. Even though it doesn't need a specific architecture in order to run, they're probably going to want to coincide it with a big GPU launch. However, this gets me rather excited. FSR is a great thing for all gamers, seeing it being implemented on the Steam Deck, seeing it being implemented on lower end cards is great. I want something that that's gonna make it even better and make it so that it makes sense to implement even on high-end cards. That's something that NVIDIA has done with DLSS 2.0 that I like, and I would love to see it come out with FSR 2.0. Let me know what you think of this down below in the comments. And while FSR has tons of hype, you know what does it? Crypto stocks, because Bitcoin's down 2.6%. In the last couple of hours, it just, it crashed from 38.585 down to 37.8738. There's the one 800 ask Gary. it's bad. It's only a decrease of 2.64% on the day, but it's down quite a bit. Ethereum also down 2%, having the similar crash down to 25, 1474. My mouth is just not working. I'm saying crash when this is just a little blip. Anyways, Dogecoin down to 11 cents, down 3.2% on the day, which is no good. Also, what I'm hearing from a lot of people is this is no good, and that is YouTube Vanced has announced that it has to shut down all of its sales, its the shipping of its application. That's what I'm trying to say. In case you're not familiar, YouTube Vance is a dedicated program that allows you to block ads on YouTube, but also it's being used to actually have a dislike counter, which was removed by YouTube as well. YouTube Vance saying that's being discontinued and in the coming days, the download links on the website will be taken down in case you still want it. I guess it's still available, obviously as a content creator, not a huge fan of this because that takes away from my income. I get why people do it, but eh, I'm not gonna tell you what to do with your life. YouTube Vance saying that the currently installed version should work just fine until they become outdated, but they clarified in their telegram that they had to do this due to legal reasons and then it has to be done. As well as you don't have to know the exact reason this had to happen. You could probably figure it out yourself considering we had to do it. So likely a cease and desist coming in from YouTube for them to not actually release this. Let me know, did you use YouTube Vance? Is this gonna affect you at all? If you obviously, if you already have it installed, shouldn't really affect you. I understand that people don't really like ads everywhere, but at the same time, somebody has to pay for the server space and this is just like the free content that's being delivered to you. This is kind of the mutual agree. I'm just curious to know all of your thoughts. Let me know down below in the comments. Also, let me know your thoughts on this because it's been announced that PC Building Simulator 2 is coming out because they're not just going to keep updating the original game, I guess. I don't know. Maybe there's some underlying reason for all of it to come out as a second edition. Anyways, it's going to be an Epic Game Store exclusive. That's what they're announcing. It looks, it looks pretty good. I like seeing it, but yes, only available on the Epic Game Store. How do you feel about that? But let's switch on over to the Steam Store because Valve releasing some data about their 2021 stuff that they did. And it's it's some big numbers, okay? 132 million monthly active users in all of 2021. 69 million daily active players. That's nice. No. 
27.4 peak concurrent players, 31 million new purchases, 27% more spending than 2020 and 21% more playtime, as well as 30% more data delivered. Seems saying that they deliver 32.9 exabytes in 2021. That is a crap ton of games. What? Did you play the most in 2021? Let me know down below in the comments and I'm gonna let you know about XFX and them having 5,840 GPUs being seized by Chinese authorities due to unknown reasons at this point. However, there is some speculation that is currently out there because according to the reports, they are being seized due to being mislabeled and therefore having a different value on the amount of the cards that were coming into the country, which could be used to skirt tariffs and taxation and and it appears that the amount of the cards was $3 million more than what XFX said. And while there is some suspicion that XFX might have been doing this on the regular to, you know, pay a little bit less in their tariff fees, there's also some reports that this might be a little bit further down the rabbit hole than that, with XFX potentially partnering with miners to ship GPUs to them directly, and then once they get tired of them, they ship them back to XFX, who then repackage them and sell them as brand new cards, and that could account for one of the reasons why the cards were mislabeled because the miners were sending them back and just being like, listen, here, have whatever you want and we're just gonna give you in the way it is. That would just be a little bit further than not reporting the total value to Chinese authorities, not declaring $3 million worth of assets, but then also selling directly to your customer a new card, new card that actually was used. Obviously, this is a developing story at this point. The 5,840 cards have been seized. We'll let you know what's going on with this. Obviously. 6,000 cards isn't a whole lot in the grand scheme of things. I'm sure several of you would appreciate having those cards, especially considering the drought that's out there, but this likely isn't going to make it uh, so that the drought gets worse. This is just a very small portion of what's going on, but we'll keep you updated if we hear anything more here on Hot News. And I don't have anything more here to say. You should check out our UFD Tech video where we uh, we were wrong about a GPU and the, the DLSS discussion. Go check that video out right there. I'll see you here for Hot News tomorrow, my friends.